So you might have seen that we got stuck on the road leading up to this cabin. <laughs> <laughs> and even though we were planning on being stationary at the cabin for a couple months over the holiday season, mm -hmm. so I could get some medical treatments and stuff done, we were jonesing to get out. You know, we're mm. so used to traveling and being on the go all the time that when we're not out exploring someplace new, it's hard for us. Yeah, so we, we wanted to get out and go on a trip, even though we didn't have the RV. We have the RV. It's just a matter of getting the RV back up the road. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to we wanted to do something. Let's you wanna go see grandma and grandpa? Okay. Let's go see grandma. Hi! <laughs> Hi girls! Hello everybody! We just dropped little Daisy off at grandparents' house. Grandma and grandpa. And we're going away for a couple of days. It's since, our nine year anniversary. Yes. Since it's close to grandparents' house, we're gonna go down to Cashers, North Carolina. And there's Whiteside Mountain that I wanna check out this hike. And we're just gonna explore this area, stay at Hotel Cashers. And there are some RV parks near that area too, so maybe we'll drive by some of those. Right now we're on Highlands Road and it's, if you've ever been on this road, we usually are on this road in a motorcycle, yeah, it's not highways, a big truck. Highway, highway 64 between Franklin and Highlands. Highlands. It's, it's quite the road. It's quite the road, it's beautiful. But in this big truck, it's a little bit. You do not want to bring an RV on this Absolutely one. Absolutely not. I don't care what size it is. Nope. <laughs> nope. Since we were cutting through Highlands to get to Cashers, we decided to eat at one of our favorite places in Highlands, and that is Wild Times. Wild Time, T H Y M E, time <laughs> yes, like the like the herb. Yeah, it's not like which was Wild Times. Wild Times, woo! Yeah, and you can see that even though it was a Tuesday, the crowds in the Highlands area, the street was packed, and it was oh, hard to find yeah. a parking spot because this is getting into prime leaf peeping time. Check it, we made it inside the lines. Just barely. <laughs> Look how crowded it is. That didn't go as according to my plan. So we went to Wild Time. Right as our food was being delivered, I got really nauseous make a run for the bathroom. And I think it's my fault because I took some medication on a pretty empty stomach, thinking that I would get food in it in time, and I didn't, and I got sick. We're gonna go to Whiteside Mountain. It's a hike that I've been looking at, or I have had it on my list for a while. I've been knowing that when we get back to this area, I'm gonna check it out. It's about a two mile loop, but you go along, half of it is alongside the mountain cliff area to where we're going and we can't check into the hotel for another hour and a half anyhow, so we might as well go for a hike. Might as well, take a hike. Oh, take a hike. And so we set off to find this parking area and it was kind of tricky to find the parking area. Yeah, we missed the turn into the parking area. From Main Street and Highlands, we follow US 64 East for about five and a half miles. You turn right into Whiteside Mountain Road, which is State Road 1600. There is a sign for Whiteside Mountain Recreation Area. You follow that road for about a mile. Stay into the sign parking area on the left. There is a $2 per day area use fee at Whiteside Mountain Recreation Area. And that parking area is small. We barely fit our 450 in there. The parking is tight here. It's all of a sudden not an exciting hike for me. So uh, we've been told about it a couple times. Yeah. We haven't seen it. Uh, way back there, we passed somebody who said that it was like 20, 200 like yards ahead and we passed it. We didn't see anything. Oh, so. I just hate that. Yeah. Yeah. See, they said that um, when it went away, it went up this side of the mountain, so. Yeah, it sounds like the same people that we saw that told us, but thank you. Can you guys believe that I am going on a hike that people who just finished this hike said that they saw a bear and I'm actually going on it? But, but, but they saw the bear going away from the trail, so. Yeah, but where there's one, there's more than one. Oh, God dang it. It comes and it goes from the shadows below. Yet, huh? 
Wow. Huffing and puffing. This is a over 500 feet of elevation gain on this hike. That's a lot in a short two mile loop. Right on the turn. Right on the turn. Wow, look at that. Wow. This hike is a two mile loop with a pretty intense incline on the first half coming up the backside. <laughs> the wow. Wow. This is something else. Look at that. Because there's a lot of climbing uphill and also downhill as well, it is a moderately difficult to even difficult hike. We could have used some trekking poles for sure. Yeah, we're good. I got some on order. Do you do? I do. Oh, finally. <laughs> okay. He says, I imagine it's pretty much all downhill from here. <laughs> and then it's not. Who knows? right there. Maybe on this ledge here and on the side. This is so cool. This tree is pretty vibrant. Yeah. Want to go down there? No. <laughs> it says if you go down there then you're going all the way down. There is a really good long stretch of overlooks and views because this is the cliffside part, right? Mm -hmm. So the second half is really spectacular and beautiful and you can see some of the leaves changing off in the distance and stuff. And luckily we were in a group, but at this particular time when the trail narrows, of course, and there's nowhere else to go, I for some reason was leading the pack of everybody. <laughs> And that's when it happened. And of course I wasn't filming. I didn't have my phone out for this one particular time. And I look up and right there, maybe... About 20 yards. Maybe 20 yards away was this black bear. And this trail in this, this one spot was probably only this wide. And there's really nowhere else that you can go. For us, so the, bear, I, the bear had lots of options. I, list, I just went, <laughs> nope, that's it. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> And then we informed everybody behind us and some of the other hikers had the whistles and stuff and I, we didn't have a whistle, so. I mean, I wish we could have caught that on camera because the bear was literally in the middle of the thing. Just going standing like, there staring at look, me. Looking at us like, you want some of this? I mean, okay, so we're in the Blue Ridge Mountains, right? So there are black bears and we know this and we're always cautious. I'm always afraid, but um, this is the first time that one's ever crossed our path. Yeah. And it was freaky, but it, I would have been much more scared if it was just the two of us and not with a whole group of oh, people. Yeah. So the bear finally, you know, after the guy started blowing his whistle and stuff, the bear just, I don't know, went off a different route or whatever. And we continued on. We did warn everybody that we that we passed along the way that there is a bear that we sighted, um, you know, just to be cautious and stuff because there were some families with younger kids and they were oh, letting the kids, kids kind of run off that, and yeah. I, no, no, none of that. You might want to stay together, there's a bear up there. Yeah, no there is, <laughs> there, is. there really is. Black yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she laughed, I'm like no, for real. <laughs> we are still all with the same group of people and I've got to say something. I wasn't the only female that was scared of the bears, okay? And there were even the men that were looking out for the bears and they were scared, so it wasn't just me. I went looking for him trying Wasn't to get a picture. Me. Well, so then we passed some other hikers that say, oh, there's bear up there with some, some babies. And that's that's when it gets yeah, that's yeah. when it gets a little scarier because when there's a mama mama with her cubs, they're gonna get very defensive, right? So we were all on high alert and we saw it again. It was either the same bear or another bear, but you you whipped out your phone and it's funny because I didn't know that my phone was recording. It was in my pocket, but you can hear the audio, right? And I'm like, Chad, just put your phone down. Just put your phone down. We got to get out of here. Stop. Who cares about filming it? Chad, just go. I feel like I get a shot off. But where's the dude with the whistle? Chad, what? I'm just saying stay with 
I'm trying to get away from you. Where? I can't look. I can't. I can't look. I just want to get this. I want to be done with this. Put your camera away and just and get, and get your bear spray out. You would think the bear was like charging us in a dark. Well, it was close. It was close. It was right there, right there, like not even 10 yards away. It was right there. It was a lot more. He does not 10 remember. Yard, 10 yards like from here to the counter. That's exactly what it was. No. It was up on the, yes it was. I'll show you, <laughs> we did get a little bit. Here's a little glimpse of that bit, Mr. Bear or Mrs. Bear. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. That would really help us out. So after the hike, we headed to our hotel to check in and check this place out. Hotel Cashers is only about a 15 minute drive away from the Whiteside Mountain Trail, so it was perfect. And again, just driving in this whole area is beautiful. Hmm. Red light in the sky tonight leads me on to bed. I need the rest. Well, this day's gone to my head. Hotel Cashers is really kind of cool. It's like a retro motor lodge that has been totally revamped and updated. So this is one of those old motor inns or yeah, something it's like really that. Yeah, cool. really retro. Yeah, but what's neat about it is that you can take these steps down to this little shopping mm -hmm. plaza that's right down there that's got some restaurants in it and some little local retail shops and stuff. So if you didn't really want to drive anywhere, there are a couple of restaurants there that you can that you can check out. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> my leg, my legs after that hike is like, jeez, um, oh, my legs hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Babe, this is hard. And the road's all full of snow. So I guess they are pet friendly here at this place. This is uh, select rooms. Don't tell Daisy. Yeah, select rooms. It wasn't. It wasn't our room, Daisy. Oh. We, they didn't have any more pet friendly rooms. I promise. That, that's right. The pantry. I don't know. Hmm. Another snacks over here. Snackies. This is what I was saying. Snack lagging. Hey, but I already touched it. Might as well get it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the microwave in case we want to reheat the food. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Scary. <laughs> this is scary. No. Oh, somebody didn't return the cornhole bags. Look at you eating <laughs> 12 hour old donut. Ew. The next day, we just wanted to explore some of the Cashers area and what this little town has to offer. Yeah, Cashers sits at an elevation of about 3,500 feet and is nestled right in the Blue Ridge Mountains. You drive any direction, it's beautiful. The year-round population is 2,000, but during the peak season, which is May to October, the population increases to 25,000 plus. That's a big increase. <laughs> We started out our day at the Cornucopia restaurant. This restaurant is open seasonally, May through October. Check their website to make sure they're open if you want to go there. This restaurant is pretty cool and it's pretty well known for the cashers area. Mm. And the building that this restaurant is in has a lot of history to it. Fried green beans and coffee. Yeah, yeah. southern flavor. Yeah. <laughs> 
Back in 1892, this land was purchased for $27 and the owner built a structure himself and he ran it as a general store. $27, that's crazy. That general store allowed farmers on their way to the market in Asheville to stop in and water their livestock in the small creek that still borders the property. After we filled our bellies, we popped into the Cashers Farmer's Market. What are those? Gourds. The what? Gourds. Gourds? Gourds. Gourds? Gourd. It's a gourd. It doesn't know what a gourd is. <laughs> I thought a gourd was like something that grew on the side of your neck. That's a, that's a goiter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on the move. Yeah. You decided to get up, huh? No. He's out. <laughs> We wanted to check out more of what this area has to offer and what we found when we were doing some research was there are a lot of waterfalls that we should go and see. Mm -hmm. We decided to drive to White Waterfalls first, which is only about a 20 minute drive from Cashers. Again, another gorgeous drive. Mm -hmm. This road would be fantastic on the motorcycle again, so that may be something to check out in the future. Yeah, for sure. Um, what I liked was it was marked pretty well to get to this waterfall, so there was no mistaking that we were going the right way or the wrong way. We did pull off at a scenic overlook to check out the views, which was awesome. And like a lot of roads in this area, you dip into South Carolina for a bit and then come back out into North Carolina. But technically but, we're in North Carolina for yeah. this. Looks like People have been here with all the litter and beer cans and crap. Oh, yeah, the road. yeah. Oh, it's so pretty back here, though. Look at this. It's so hard. It's so hard to tell in in iPhone photos, like the depth of de of it down there and stuff. Yeah. Oh, the, look! You can yeah. you can go and stand in there. You want to do that? Well, there's nobody to take our picture. We can Photoshop this. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get fierce over there, huh? Yeah. Just FYI, if you're going to bring your tripod up here and there's already two people with tripods, 
Don't go hogging the whole place. We got three tripods up there. Nobody can get to the front. And they're not and they're not moving over for anybody. I think that's that's really rude. We would never do that. Yeah. Well, judging by the bench, I'd say we're halfway. <laughs> So we got back in the truck to try to find another falls that we could hike and check out before the day was out, but this one was not as quite as easy to get to. This one was Silver Run Falls and we never actually got to see it because when we finally found the small little tiny parking area on the side of the road, we tried to get in there, but yeah, it was, two it of was, our two of our tires were hanging sketchy. off the, the side. It was sketchy. The dually was hanging off the edge and it just we had to just get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Later that night, it was time to celebrate our anniversary and have a nice dinner at the Hidden Valley Tavern. This is technically in Sapphire, North Carolina, which is only about eight minutes away from Hotel Cashers, so it was a quick, easy drive. And this place was really great. The food was really good. Was our really server was awesome. Mm -hmm. The ambiance was, was really, really good. Place, yeah. it, was re it was really neat. So let us know if you've been there. Also let us know if there are any other restaurants that we should check out the next time we are in this area. And if you're curious, it's nine years, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to get, I can't, you can't get it to turn on. Wait. <laughs> Well, I'll just go like this and film it this way. I was just trying to turn the light on so I could get this. <laughs> but we couldn't get it. You look handsome. You look pretty. I figured I'd film you because you don't have a hat on. No, it's odd. Yeah, and like you're wearing a collared shirt and everything. How's your cocktail? It's really good. Yeah, so is mine. My margarita is delicious. Yeah. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this guy. Look at this. I love this guy. I'm sorry, I had to get him. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Jeez, our truck sticks out like <laughs> <laughs> Just left the hotel. Hotel Cashiers was very nice. Um, kind of a cool little place. Thin walls, because we could hear our neighbors. Yeah, they, they, they revamped the hotel, but I think the walls are original. <laughs> yeah, so right down below is this little shopping center, and there's a little breakfast and lunch place called Zookeeper Bistro. I'm not sure what that's about. It We're going to all kinds of animals. Oh, you are going to eat all kinds of animals, like, <laughs> like giraffes and stuff. Um, I'll take the giraffe burger, please. So we're going to go get some breakfast, and then there's a consignment shop that we want to check out because your parents said it was a good one, and mm -hmm. I've been jonesing for some thrifting and consignment shopping. And then we're going to go get us a puppy. Yeah. Okay. That's our baby dog. Yeah. You ready to eat again? Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. Chad is being a good husband on our anniversary trip <laughs> and going into a... Con over. Hey, <laughs> they have men's stuff too. Now we go to Antiques which is a little bit more up your alley, right? Yeah. You want to get a bear for the cabin? <laughs> It'd be up to you. I think I saw enough of those on our hike the other day. They didn't look as friendly when the ones we saw. may have found Chad's new winter jacket. Okay, he's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. Oh yeah. Actually, you look really good in that jacket. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You look really good in that jacket. It, does, it, it fits you really well. So we're done with our time here in- Cashers. Uh, Cashers. Yes, but- I think we're saying that right. That's how the locals say it. Well, that's how it, I looked it up. Cashers. And Western North Carolina Magazine says, cool as Asia. Oh. Cashers. Cashers. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we haven't had food yet. So we tried going into the Zookeeper's Cafe and it smelled delicious. Everybody was nice there, but it was busy and it was one of those very echoey, very loud restaurants. Um, and I'm noise sensitive and that would have given me just a crazy, crazy headache. It was so. loud and annoying to me though also. Yeah. We decided to take a different route this time back to Franklin so we could check out an RV park for you guys. We took Highway 107 which runs along Lake Glenville which is this huge lake and I don't 
I don't know how I've never realized this huge lake was there. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I'd but love to run a boat on that sometime. Gorgeous. Another gorgeous road. And like we're talking to each other the whole time we're driving and we're just like, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. We need to take the bike on here. Mm. Another really twisty, turny, curvy, narrow, beautiful road that I do not recommend taking your big fifth wheel or motorhome on. That would be dangerous. Mm. So we drove through Colisager River RV Park. It seemed like a really nice park, but it did seem like one of those that had mostly residential or seasonal people there. Yeah, let us know if you've stayed there and maybe we're wrong. Maybe they have a section where it's more for just regular campers who want to stay for a week or so. Transients. Um, yeah, yeah. But it did look like most of them had some permanent structures and stuff built onto their RV and onto their RV site. So mm. we're not sure, but it looked nice and there were a lot of really cool sites right along that river yeah. there. So that would be really pretty. But anyhow, um, so I don't think that that's a park that we will go to. Let us know if we should. Um, after that, we just went and picked up our little fluffer baby. Where's my daisy? Where's my daisy? Is it daisy me? 